Uh, sure. So a bit about myself. I born and brought up in Mumbai and I did my undergrad in business. And after that, worked with a bunch of startups. And before coming to like Darden or B school, I was running a startup of my own in the health and wellness space where we offered products and services. And the second part of your question that what made me decide to do an MBA and when did I decide on doing it? So as I was growing my startup, I obviously realized my shortcomings, understanding that I still need to learn a bunch of things. And in that same process, while scaling the startup, I also like had the challenge or as most businesses did of dealing with COVID-19. That just created an urgency for me that, hey, if I want to take a break now and learn a few things before coming back or doing something else, now is the right time to do it. So it was end of 2021 when I started researching about programs, did my prep and like gave my exams, put in my applications, etc. and got accepted. And 2023 is when I joined the program. So it was a comparatively short journey, I would say, but it was more like things that I realized my limitations and understood that I need to work on that. That realization coupled with the challenges of COVID helped me make that decision a bit faster. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier that I was running my startup, so time was a very critical factor for me. So I ended up first is applying to programs that had an early action kind of a round or early round. So in that it was UVA Darden, I applied to Tuck, I applied to Columbia and also at Ross, got waitlisted at a couple of schools but got accepted into Darden and I was really amazed looking at Darden, how it was like academically, it was going to help me. The people were nice and I got in in the early action. So I decided to like, you know, put down my deposit and me, uh, like come here. So after that, I did not like spend a lot of time in making applications or applying to other schools. So the first thing was understanding like strategy or business strategy in general. That was the main motive because in running a startup, you are hands on with a lot of things. And to scale a startup, you need to like take a back seat, have more of an, a high level organizational and a strategy kind of a view. And that was one of the major things that I wanted to learn because I was doing more of a bottom up approach in being involved in every little step and trying to do everything in the company. So that was one major thing. Second is also the peer based learning. And this is something that I had thought of in the past as well when I was doing my undergrad. A lot of my peers at the time like did their MBA just a couple of years out of the undergrad program and most of them did it from India. Some of some of them went abroad. But my thought was that if I want to do it, I want to do at a stage where I have firstly work experience where I could also contribute to the program. And the second was that I wanted to be in a learning environment where people came with some like leadership and also some organizational experience so that I could not just leverage from the expertise of the professors, but also my cohort. And that is something that I've found like it uh, things have lived up to my expectations over here. And the third is also the network that you build in an MBA program, because like when you come to a top program, everyone who gets accepted has great experience and is also going on to have great experiences at great companies as well. So those were the three major reasons and also like the reason why I decided to apply to US-based business schools. That's a great question. And like how I think about it is mainly in two ways. Number one is you get more of a stakeholder approach to business where initially, and this is this has been my experience that when I was running a business, I'm just like very dialed in on this is the outcome I wish to achieve. This is what I want to accomplish out of like doing this or making this business decision. And it's a very unidimensional view at decision making. And whereas like from the subjects that we learn with the people that we work in teams on different projects, you understand that in a business, there are many relationships, many stakeholders that are involved. And some decisions at times like in the short term might not be the best business decision. But if you look at it from more of a stakeholder perspective, that what is going to really help you accomplish growth in your business long term, you start making different sets of decisions. And that has been like maybe the most transformative part of my experience so far that you understand these things and you start looking at, at business decisions differently. 
So that is more from like a team based perspective, but also from like the business perspective as well. Like again, coming to or in a very similar vein that if I'm making an, an operational change to my business, my view is simply looking at it that, OK, if I change this, my operations are going to change in a particular way. But when you learn like different subjects like finance, marketing, again, strategy, uh, operations, etc., you understand that every decision, even though you might be thinking that you're making it in isolation, it flows into other departments or other aspects of your business. And like B school, according to me, really helps you understand those intricacies or how your business operates with these different functions. And you start making decisions accordingly, where even though I'm making an operational change, but I also need to factor in how it impacts my firm or my organization financially, what are the marketing implications of it, what might be the sales implications of it, etc. So it's both from a human aspect, but also from the different subjects of business, if I were to put it, like your view changes on how you go about making these decisions or like doing things, whether be it a part of your job or part of your career, or also if you're running a company or running a startup. life-changing kind of experience that I've had as a part of the MBA program is just being in a classroom that is so diverse and has people from so many different uh, career backgrounds but also social cultural political backgrounds as well and people from different countries and in our program we do exclusively case method and one of the subjects that I'm enjoying really this quarter where I'm in the last leg of my first year is the economics where we actually have case studies of uh, development of different countries or what economic policies did the government or the central banks take and every class right now as we're discussing different countries people give us much more flavor and much more understanding on the historical context how things have evolved politically in their country and what the decisions that have been made by the government has made impact on the ground as well and that is really refreshing which even if I was running my own company or if I would have scaled it as well to much more than I did before coming to B-School, I would never get this experience of learning from so many different diverse viewpoints. So that is something that I really uh, like have been appreciative of my experience. And this is something that I'm going to take it like or it's going to be valuable throughout my life as well. A uh, great question and this is something like you know you this can be always like forever a debate that is it worth it or not but I guess like everyone needs to look it at a, from a very personal aspect and if that is something that they really want like I've had for me if I'm speaking personally that investment has been very much worth it where I've learned so many things I've made great friends I've built a network and it's not just like the network or the friendships that I've built. I really know that this is going to help me achieve a lot more progress or supercharge my trajectory for over the next 5, 10 or even maybe the next 20 years. Just because I've understood so many things differently. And now when I re-enter the job market, I know that I have uh, so much to bring to the table and contributed. And just doing an MBA, the experience also teaches you that how much potential that you have. and Apart from just your peers, just the network that you build, there is also a network aspect with the faculty that are like top professionals in research in their fields. So I know in future that if I have a problem, I can always come back, ask them if I need any advice, any help, and also like use, utilize their expertise and like, you know, even pick their brains if I'm trying to solve for something which I don't really know the answer to. And that is pretty much how any business also operates that you are not always going to know what needs to be done or what the next strategy or the next big change is going to be. But just like building that skill set that uh, you don't know the answer, but you can find the answer is something that I find very valuable. So for me, it has been worth every dollar. But at the same time, as you rightly pointed out, there's also an opportunity cost. It's not just the cost of tuition, but you are essentially taking a two-year career break and a lot of other factors such as the job market, the economy, the geopolitical environment impact these decisions. So it's a very personal thing and what I would want to encourage with this answer is 
if someone is planning on doing an MBA, they should introspect and ensure that they're doing it for the right reasons because a lot of things can go different ways depending on a lot of external factors. But one shouldn't feel that they made a wrong decision uh, because of those things. Like if you are if your head is in the right space, you introspect and you come here for the right reasons, I'm pretty sure you will walk away with a lot more value than what you came in with.